Hello everyone and welcome to our tutorial on how to create conversions on Google. So for this, you will need three things. The first one is going to be your website, which in this case would be advergenerator.com, which is ours. You would need your Google Ads account from one side and then Google Tag Manager, which would be the third part of it all. So. To start, the first thing you need to do is to set up a Tag Manager account. So whenever you open it, tagmanager.google.com, you get the option to create a new account. And then for the setup, you will be asked the add account name, country, container name. Then you can select. In this case, it would be for web. And then you will just create. You will need to accept the terms and conditions and yes so while this is creating and now you can actually see this so do not close this this pop-up will open immediately right after you create so we would need to come back to this in a second and i will show you how to do it for the other part you will need here your website so it's super important that you have access to the editing setup for this which in this case we have a web flow um web page but every kind of web page has this wordpress godaddy google custom um, sites so for example for this one you would need to find where the custom code is so in this case we have two spaces for the head and for the footer so i'll go Copy this one, come back, paste it here. I would need to come back here, copy the body code, and then paste it here. So afterwards, I will save both of this. Please make sure that these assets published and then save this one too. Perfect. So nothing's published just yet because we need to do something else. So once this is done, you can just click OK. From this, you will be able to create different tags and different triggers. And this is a series in which we will bring many tutorials on how to tag different things, how to create triggers, variables, and everything that you can integrate in the platform. But just know that this is already created. So now we need to go to the ads part. And this is the old uh, view for Google, but just know that you can also change the, or probably you will get the new view. Make sure you just go to tools and settings, where, wherever it is, and you click on conversions. This is how you create a conversion on Google. As you will see, if you don't have any conversion tracking, this is going to be empty. So it's super important to uh, start creating. You will create a new conversion action and you will get all of this. So most of our campaigns and all the work we do is related to track actions on the website. So we will click on that one. And then you need to put here your domain. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. And then just know that Google will always try to scan and create actions automatically. Um, this can work and whenever you see the source, you might find, for example, like automatically created. That means Google somehow scanned your website and found any action uh, over there. But well, from here, we have the option to create conversion actions. So you can do either one of this. You can automatically have that scanned or you can create them manually using code. So I think the idea is to create the conversion action manually just because, well, you, it's more accurate. You know exactly what it is you're tagging and it will be more convenient. So we will add it manually. And over here, you will get this little warning just says that you need to add it to your website's code. So super important. We already have this here. Um, so no worries. You will have these options. So first of all, it will ask you for the goal and what is it that we're doing. So for example, let's say we're tracking a lead form and then we're going to have a name. So 
that said, if you're doing any other kind of conversion, let's say a purchase and you know exactly the value for it, if you're selling um, something or if you're doing a trial, but someone needs to pay for that, or you have some sort of idea what's your cost per action, you can use the value here. But for this case, well, if you click, it will ask you to input the value and you can add dollars or any other currency. We will go with this one. Don't worry, since this is elite form um, measurement for this is not required. We will count every one of them. Here, it's uh, important just check that this is correct. 30 days for a conversion window. These can all be updated afterwards. Attribution is data driven. If you click here, you will find the option to do different ones. Last click. Uh, since Google is migrating to a new measurement system, these are not available anymore, but data driven is just fine. And then enhanced conversions is an option that Google has uh, in order to track data from your website. But let's keep that for now and then just click on done. Once you do this, then you have here, this is a submit lead form. This is the name you gave it, lead form example. And then you can just turn off enhanced conversions. You can just save and continue. So once you do that, well, you need to start tagging. So you can do set it up with a Google tag, use Google tag manager or email instructions to your webmaster. So for this, and then the next thing you will get if you select use Google Tag Manager, which is the option we are going to use, is to install the Google Ads conversion tracking tag. So for this, we would need to open our Google Tag Manager back again. This is the container we've already created. And now you will need to go to the tags option over here on the left. And it says no containers, no, no tags, sorry, and we will create a new. If you click here, you have this untitled tag, tag configuration, and trigger it. We will start with tag configuration. If you click here, you'll have all of these options. Let me move this. So Google Analytics, Google Tag, Google Tag, Conversion Linker. You have a lot of different things, but for now, we will use Google Ads. You will need to click on the Google Ads conversion tracking, and you are asked to provide this information. Where do you get it? Well. It's all over here. So for conversion ID, we'll copy this one, come back and put it here. That's it. And then for conversion label, you need to. This is the one we created, lead form example. And this is the name here. And then once that's done you can click out of here for trigger you would need to do page view and then oh sorry for trigger and then we will just put a name over here lead form conversion tracking and then you click save Please know that it said that the, and it says also here, conversion linker tag uh, needs to be configured to be fired on all websites. So what you will do, come back here, new, tag configuration. Here you can find conversion linker. Please make sure to do that. It says no configuration required or anything. For the triggering, you let's do all pages. It needs to be on all pages. And I'm going to write down here, conversion linker, save. And that's it. So you see, you have these two configured. Now let's go and create some trigger. So this is where you will tell Google Ads through Google Tag Manager, what is your, your conversion? Is it a page view? Is it a thank you page? Is it a click? Is it, well, other event that needs to trigger up? Whatever it is, we will go with page view. So let's say we have a thank you page. Let's go here and see what we get. Start free trial. So whenever people click on this, well, let's say this was a thank you page. 
we will use this one just as an example. Oh, sorry, over here, page view. It says this trigger fires on not all page views, some page views. Page host name, you have all different uh, options. We will do page URL contains this one. So whenever someone visits this URL, this trigger will fire. So let's say instead of pricing, this was a thank you page or your book a demo page, whatever it is. So I'm going to write here trigger example and I'm going to save. There we go. So now we have, oh, sorry, our tags and we have our lead forms tracking. Here you can come and check the details. For example, we can also add another trigger, which is the trigger we need to actually add, which is our example. So we are telling Google Tag Manager, whenever a page URL contains this, someone views this, then this is what we need. And we will remove this one. And this will be our conversion. So I will just click Save. That's it. And then all that you need to do, and don't forget about this, it's Submit. Always, always, always publish. And you can add like version one. It's not mandatory. You can skip this. But it means like you can come back to it at any point. You have this. And then this is published. So you have all the changes over here. And this is done. If you come back here, we're back at Google. We did all the steps. We used Tag Manager to add the tracking tag. We added the conversion ID. We put it the name. We added the conversion linker tag. And we are done. So now let me close this. This is inactive because it's unverified. It usually takes, it has three hours, but it can take a bit longer. But once you do this, uh, you can come back here always to tools and settings, conversions, and then you will see uh, here your conversion action that's created and it should say active. And whenever you want to test it out and see if it's working, all you need to do, and once you come here, you can test and this will be living here in case you need to edit anything in, guess, in case the URL changes. Here you have your workspace. So this is a really powerful tool and you can start tracking many different things, creating different triggers and tags, but just know that this is what it, you need to do. And also please don't forget to come back to your website and publish the code. Super important. And once this is done, then the three parts of it are connected. Google Ads, Google Tag Manager, and then your website. So let us know if you have any other questions. We're here to help. And yes, uh, happy tagging.